Did you know using these four things, you can actually make a motor? Let me show you how. Hi everyone, I'm Anishwa. I am a PhD student at Australian National University. I'm an engineer uh, and I did my engineering in electronics. And now here I am doing physics, well, PhD in physics, well, applied physics or engineering. All right, today's experiment is going to be a very simple motor. Now you're given four equipments, a wire, a battery, a magnet, a small magnet, and a nail. Now, using these four equipments, you have to build a electric motor. Just for a hint, you have been given a battery and, and you know that battery is a source of current. And you've been given a magnet, which is, which results in a magnetic field. Now using these, you can ensure that you generate a force that will ensure that a part of these, any of these four move around. It can be the nail that rotates, it can be the magnet that rotates. You can even, if you want to, you can try and make the battery rotate or you can make the wire rotate. You can go any way possible. Uh, let's pause the video here and I'd like you to try it. All right, let me give you uh, one possible way of making the motor work. Um, so you have the nail. I'm going to connect the magnets to the nail. Uh, as the nail, nail is a uh, ferromagnet, the magnets get attached to it. Um, then I'm going to connect the nail to the battery. As you can see, again, because all of these are ferromagnets, they get attached to each other. Now I'm going to use the ma uh, these wire to actually make the loop so that the current flows from the battery. And there you go, we achieved the motor. I have, we have these extra tapes so that you can actually see them rotating properly. There you go. All right, now that you've done the motor, let me quickly explain how and why this works. Now, you have the battery. This is the battery. And I have here um, made the positive terminal on the top and the negative terminal at the bottom. This is your nail. And this is your magnet. Now, uh, the magnet can be oriented in any direction, north or south. For now, I have just drawn them as north and south respectively. Um, now, if you know a little bit of magnets, then magnets have a magnetic field that goes across it. So these are the magnetic field lines that I have drawn here that comes out of the magnet. And last thing that is, is the wire that connects. So the, the wire that you see here is the wire that we connected. Now completing this wire and connecting it to the magnet ensures that there's a complete circuit formed, which lets the current flow from the battery all the way to the nail, sorry, all the way to the magnet, back to the nail, and again, back to the battery. So that completes the circuit. Now, uh, now that we have that, let me quickly show you what happens exactly. So in general, there are three things that's happening together. We have the magnetic field, uh, we have the current, and these two combine together to generate a force called magnetic force or Lorentz force. Now, um, to orient ourselves with the direction of uh, all the three fields that's happening here, we follow something called right hand thumb rule. Now, let me just give you a recap of how right hand thumb rule looks like. So we have the thumb indicating towards the magnetic force or the Lorentz force. We have the index finger pointing towards the direction of the current and we have the uh, middle finger pointing to the direction of magnetic field. Uh, these type of motors are called homopolar motors. The reason it is called homopolar motor is because in these, the direction of the current always remains the same. So the direction of the current is always going towards up. So it's going all the way here and then going back up. So that is the direction of the current. Now that we know that, let's find out the direction of the magnetic field. Now if you look at this, in this side, the magnetic fields look coming like this. So current on that side, um, the magnetic field is on this side. Now if you follow the right hand thumb rule, you will see that the force, the Lorentz force would be towards the, uh, would be towards the plane or inside the paper. And by convention, if something goes inside, we just mark them as cross. So in this side, uh, the force is going into the plane. Now let's look at the other side, in this side. Now again, the current is in the same direction. The magnetic field, however, goes this way. So it's towards this. Now again, if you um, follow the right hand thumb rule, sorry, I, B, and the last thing, which is the force will be out of the frame or out of the plane. So. This is the convention. Now, if you look at this, 
one side actually is going into the plane whereas the other side comes out of the plane and that is why the motor rotates and that is why you see that uh, one side goes inwards and the other side goes uh, outwards. Now one more key thing to notice here if you change the direction of the battery uh, the direction of the rotation would change. In this particular case we were going from inside to outside so we were going this is anti clock right yeah we are going anti clockwise um, whereas if you rotate the side the direction of the battery the direction would change to counter clockwise and that is how the motor works. So this was one way of doing it and you can also try this out and try the motor working in different ways. You can skip one way of doing this is to skip the nail altogether and you can use you can try and move the wire instead. There is also other things you can try for example you can change the configuration of the wire and see if that makes it easier to rotate or that makes it harder to rotate. You can also use high bigger magnets or stronger magnets so that it rotates faster. There are multiple things that you can try um, and hence have a fun experiment.